morning, you guys. We're going to read this cute story called Ducky. It's actually a true story. I read it to one of my classes last week and it was really fun to learn about this. It's about a yellow plastic duck that makes a long perilous journey when washed overboard in a storm. So let's read it and see what it's all about. This is a 2.5 accelerated reading level. I will put the quiz number in the comments of the video. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it a little bigger. Might as well. I am a yellow plastic duck and I am in great danger. Yesterday I was snuggled safe with hundreds of other bathtub toys. We were in a crate on a big ship. A storm came. Our crate was washed overboard. Down, down, down it went. We tumbled around inside yellow ducks, green frogs, blue turtles, red beavers, bump, crash. We hit bottom and the crate broke. We bobbed like colored bubbles to the surface. The sun is rising now and the sea is pink. My bathtub friends float all around me. Our ship has disappeared. The sea is big, big, big. Oh, I am scared. Look at all those animals. Good thing they float. Oh, fish with watery eyes come to stare. A sea snake wiggles itself among us. A great monster's head rises close to me. Shark! I go from scared to terrified. The shark's mouth opens and it gulps in a frog, two beavers, three turtles, and me. Thing, things and bits of things are stuck in its giant teeth. Puff. It shakes its head and spits us out. I expect we are not too tasty, though we are guaranteed non-toxic. He didn't like them. I wish we could swim and get away, but all we can do is float. It's a relief when the shark goes. A wedge of pelicans flies above us. Oh, how I wish I could fly. I'd fly to safety. The frog next to me is turned upside down by a wave, then right side up by another. But we are drifting far from one another. Great sea spaces separate us. High on a sea swell, I see us spread across the ocean for miles and miles. The next morning, I have no yellow ducks, green frogs, blue turtles, or red beavers to keep me company. Like the ship, they have left and I am alone. I can tell how long I float on the big empty, I can't tell how long I float on the big empty ocean. There are days when sun sparks the water, when the ocean is blue with white ruffles. There are days when I float through rain. Days when wind blows me backwards, tumbles me like a yellow ball. It is all the same to me, I only know the loneliness. There are days when frog hides when, for, when fog hides me, even from myself, then I am lonelier than ever. So foggy in this one. See that? There are nights of clouds and nights of constellations. There is a moon and another and another. The water must be colder now. Ice nudges me. Seals bark as I go by. Will I float in the ocean forever and ever? He is. It's on a day of pale light that I feel the sea lift me, carry me, crash me down. I'm somersaulting over small stones. What is happening to me now? Someone is shouting, I found one! I found one! It's a duck! A boy's face is close to mine. We are nose to beak, beak to nose. Another boy rubs my head. Hi, Ducky. That's what I'll call him, Ducky, my boy says. His friend grins. Good name, very original. <laughs> I need to report that I found him. 
my boy says. He gets on a bike. Mrs. James is keeping a record for science. For science? Me? My goodness, my gosh, look at this. It's great to see so many of my friends again. Look at, they all have one of the toys. Ducks found. This is the map of Alaska. Now we are all in a room. My boy sets me on a table. I found him down on the beach, Mrs. James, he tells a woman. Thank you for reporting it, she says. She writes in a notebook. I'll put it on my duck found list. People are finding a lot of these bathtub toys around town. The scientists are so interested. Ducky's coming home with me, the boy says. We ride in his house, ride to his house, and he puts me in his bathtub. Oh, I am so happy. I am a bathtub duck, filling my destiny. How wondrous it is to be able to float. Author's note, in 1992, a crate containing 29,000 plastic bathtub toy animals left on a ship from Hong Kong, China, bound for Tacoma, Washington in the USA. It was washed overboard in a storm. Hundreds of the toys have since been found beached on the eastern coast of the Gulf of Alaska. Scientists are checking findings and sightings to learn more about currents, winds, and tides. Using computers, they plot the track of the remaining toys. Some, they believe, will go into the Arctic Ocean and ride a course toward the North Pole. Some could sail around the top of the world to the North Atlantic. One lone duck has been found off Washington State. How wondrous it is to be able to float. The end.